So it occurred to me after doing the palindrome video, oh, I've just noticed I spelled palindrome wrong up there. Um, it occurred to me after doing the palindrome video that it won't work with upper or lowercase words or a mixture if it won't detect the difference between an upper and lowercase word to check if they're palindromes. Um, and I was looking through the documents, if you look in the documentation page at the intrinsic functions, and I noticed there wasn't an intrinsic function for uh, like in Python's two upper or two lower, so I thought oh, let's write one, it can't be that difficult. So that's what I've done. So this next demonstration, if I just open is a two lower function. I can find it. Lower. Okay, we'll get the, uh, the stuff up for demonstration. Let's move that over there a little bit. Clear that. Okay, so this takes in a string. So we're taking our string. Let's say our string is, um, this is our two lower function, so let's say it's capital letter uh, QWERTY and then the case letters uh, QWERTY. Uh, we'll have some numbers in there as well. So it's going to take in this string, it's lowercase. It's going to call our two lower function, so which we'll step through. Now what it's doing is going through each letter, getting its code, its ASCII code, checking the ASCII code is it within range, so it's only within those particular letters, uh, A through to Z. If it is, it's adding 32 to it to convert it to an uppercase letter, so that's adding 32 to the code to shift it up the ASCII alph alphabet slightly, and then applying it back to the lowercase word, keeps doing that. If it's not in that range, it just adds it. So if it's already lowercase or it's a number or something, it doesn't change it. And then when it's done, it's going to return it. So if we watch it through the um, through the variables, you can see the numbers coming in. You can see uh, the Q here looks now lowercase. Go through them, converts it to lowercase, ignoring the second Q at QWERTY look because it's already lowercase, and hopefully ignoring the numbers and then turns the string and outputs it. Here we go. And of course if we want a two lower we're also going to need a two upper. So I've done exactly the same um, for the uppercase. So we step through this one and we'll do um, that just like last time. This time it's going to go the other way. So let's see what happens. So as we step through, we can see this time we're checking for a different range. So this is the range for the capital letters. If it's in that range, we take 32 away to make it shift it down the alphabet, or we ignore it. So it's exactly the same, just backwards. So here we go, the capital letters are coming in being converted from lower to upper, the upper letters are being ignored. There we go. And it returns the string and now it puts the uppercase words. So two additional functions we can make use of, one for converting to uppercase, one for converting to lowercase.